Okay, this is a second video um, focusing on modifying text by using layer styles. Um, we're going to start with um, making sure that our layers panel is available in out in front. I'm going to even bring it over this way just to set. We don't accidentally shut it down. Okay, and um, double click the text layer to open the layer style dialog box. Okay, so that's one of the things that I wanted everyone to see is if you double click on the words, it's going to want you to change the um, name. So you kind of got to double tick, uh, double click right outside of the word. Okay. Outside of the name there. And then the layer style pops open. The dialog box. So apply one or more layer styles to the text. So we've already given it sort of a warped feel but we'll want to maybe give it a drop shadow. I'm just going to let it default. Um, we're going to bevel and emboss it and give it a contour. Let's see here. And then let's give it a stroke as well. Allow it to be one pixel. Let's make it 10 pixels. And then the color is black. Um, so I've added two or three different styles to it. You guys have worked on that last week, I believe, as well, but we're just kind of refining our, our skills here this week as well. So that's the layer style um, dialog box and all the different things that you can do. Um, and I just showed you a few out of many. So go ahead and, and select OK. And you can see now that um, clearly my stroke size was much too, if I, if I double click, my effects come back. I'm going to change that stroke size to one point again and then say OK. You can see that that makes a big difference. I can actually read the text, sort of. It becomes hard over there. All right, OK. So we're going to reuse text formats with type styles. So that's going to prompt us to start with a different kind of text box. Um, create a paragraph of text in your image. So I will do that. I'm going to do that on my own here, but first I want to show you in order to do that, you want to go to the text box or the text tool again, type tool, and click once. And you want to make sure that that's of the correct size. I'm just going to go back down to 12 point. You can see that that changed the cursor size there. And it also added another layer. Um, so I'm going to type that out and I'll see you in a minute. So I've created the paragraph. And the next thing I want us to do is to choose window paragraph styles. There we go. Okay, so to create a new paragraph style, click the Create New Style button. And that can be right here as well. It looks like a new, like a page. Okay, so paragraph style one. Double click the new style in the paragraph style panel. Double click. All right. The paragraph style options dialog box opens. Type a new style name. We're going to just call it style one. And then define the text and paragraph options you want in the paragraph style options dialog box and then click OK. So I'm going to go ahead and bump it down to size 10. Um, I'm going to bring it to not Myriad Pro, but oh, let's just say it's Lucida handwriting. And um, I really want this auto letting to open up to about 14 point. And I want it to be an optical metric as far as the um, kerning is, is considered. Okay, and then that's going to be about it. Let's see, the faux bold italic. I guess we'll click on italic as well. And you you know, you can go into some of these other uh, features um, in dense and spacing if you had multiple paragraphs. Um, the justification, everything else I'm going to leave the same. And I'm going to go ahead and um, click OK. You want to make sure that you have um, cleared the override. Um, if you see that little plus mark, you do an um, command click right over or control click. It clears the override and allows you to um, to actually 
get the basic character formats that you chose when you did this. Okay, so if I were to create another paragraph, I just copied that. I'm gonna go ahead and create, go to, to my move tool to deselect and then go to my text tool again to create a second paragraph. I'm going to paste that in. It defaults to the styles that are um, defaulting um, in the Photoshop program. So basically you are selecting it all, okay? And then you're selecting the text that defaults. Um, and you can actually put just a cursor in any one of these. And then you want to clearly override. Um, and you can see your cursor. You don't have to have it entirely selected like this. You can actually just put a cursor in the paragraph. It knows what you're trying to tell it. And then you clear the override. Um, and then, you know, you can do that as needed. Um, you can select it all if you want and then clear that override and it adds it to the entire. And obviously because my text box wasn't large enough, it did that. But that's how you would change the styles of various paragraphs in a document in order to allow it to um, align and be consistent um, using paragraph styles.